Hello, so today is the day of my rhinoplasty surgery. I don't know where I last left off with the updates and stuff, but basically, okay, so it's around 11 o'clock this morning now and my hospital admission time is 1 p.m. So my surgery is the last surgery of the day because I'm having a four hour surgery. So they're doing that last. Um, basically, I've had to fast since 7 a.m. I got up a bit early this morning and had something to eat beforehand just so I'd have something in my stomach, but I'm so hungry right now. I'm gonna be leaving soon in around half an hour to go to the hospital. Uh, Cause yeah, the hospital is about an hour away and I just want to like allow time for parking and all that and yeah I don't know how I'm feeling now I think it's just still I don't know it kind of it feels all too real but at the same time it doesn't feel real yet I just I don't know but I think too I've sort of just been doing my usual morning routine and stuff so it's sort of just I don't know just can't believe it's actually happening um but yeah and also too i am actually going to be staying in the hospital overnight just purely because i won't be coming out of surgery till pretty late and my um healthcare does cover an overnight stay so i figured and i just thought too for my mum because as i said it's an hour away and i have to go back to the um like surgeon's office tomorrow morning for a check-in with them and they're pretty close to the hospital so it would be like mom has to drive me an hour to my surgery then come an hour back come an hour and pick me up come an hour back and then go an hour back tomorrow and come back so instead of that she's just going to drop me off and then she'll come back tomorrow morning to the hospital pick me up and then we'll go like 15 20 minutes to the doctor's office and then go home so it obviously is still a lot of driving and running around from her but it is one less trip and i think i will have more peace of mind just being at hospital overnight if i start to freak out about something or just i don't know just knowing that i have like doctors and nurses and stuff there to look after me overnight but yeah i'm just sort of getting everything packed now hoping i've got everything i need and i just I don't know it's just feeling all too real i just want it to be i just want this surgery to be over i just that's like the main bit that i'm nervous for that something's gonna like go wrong in the surgery or something like that or, or like i worry that i'm not gonna wake up afterwards or i worry that i'm gonna wake up during the surgery like that's just the main thing i just want to be at the point and then i can deal with however my face looks like and feels like and all that but yeah so i am just Oh, it's just so weird too. Like I just, it's taking everything in me just to not like snack at something. Like normally, like I always have snacks around my house. And I'm just like, oh, I want to just like grab some chips or have some chocolate. I'm just like, no, I can't have anything. I can't put moisturizer on as well. Like I just had a shower, but I can't put moisturizer on. And my face is just feeling like tight. And I'm like, I just want to put on moisturizer, but I can't. I've taken off all my jewelry and nail polish. I'm not normally like this. It feels so weird, but yeah so i'm gonna yeah just finish packing my bag and then yeah just make sure i've got everything organized to go and head to the hospital which is crazy i cannot believe it's happening and so this is what i've packed i just have to put it in a bag i've got my ipad just um for like entertainment got my supplements that i'm taking change of clothes for tomorrow socks undies pajamas book toothbrush toothpaste deodorant and all that stuff so hopefully i mean i don't know what the weather's gonna be like so i've got like tights and shorts for tomorrow short sleeve long sleeve jacket just in case i'm like i don't know what i'm gonna need i don't want to take too much but i don't want to not have enough so yeah then this is me just walking to the hospital all getting very real and exciting slash nervous mum and me in the lift and yeah this is my hospital room and yeah then i just got into my gown and compression socks and cap and all that so this is my little outfit of the day so I'm all checked in at the hospital now. I'm just on my bed. I'm all geared up, got my gown and socks and all that on and just like sitting and waiting in my room. Um, yeah, I don't know, like hopefully it won't be too much longer. I am just starving at this point. My stomach is screaming. I'm so hungry. Um, but I feel like too, I'm getting impatient just like, sitting and waiting. Like, obviously that's not natural like to wait and stuff, but I feel like my impatience is overtaking the nerves and now I'm kind of, like before when I first checked in I was like oh no I don't I don't want to be here I don't want to do it like take your time but now I'm just like getting impatient I'm like come on like let's just do this so yeah I don't know hopefully it won't be much longer but yeah I'm just so keen to eat afterwards however long it's gonna be but yeah they fed me pretty much as soon as I came out of surgery because apparently I was just telling them how hungry I was and yeah <laughs> 
Hey guys, um, so it's the next morning. I don't want to talk to you that because I'm like in hospital. Still, I don't, I don't know. I feel awkward doing this. Um, but yeah, so it's been about 12 hours since I got out of surgery. It all went well. So I'm told I'm bleeding a bit. Um, I've just had breakfast now. I didn't really sleep last night. I sort of was just kept waking up every few hours. Um, but yeah, I had dinner. I had a sandwich and stuff after surgery and I've just had some cereal now. And uh, just had more a headache than anything. And like a bit bruised and swollen, but yeah, I had to get up and pee like five times last night because every time I woke up, I just kept having lots of water for like my headache. But yeah, I'll check in later. My mum's coming in about three hours to come and get me and I cannot wait to see her. Once I left hospital, I put on a little bucket hat to try and cover me up. And then I went back to the surgeon's office and they just had a look at everything and just gave it a really good clean out. And then I just went home and felt sorry for myself and sat with a cold face washer on my head for the rest of the day. So this is what I'm dealing with today. I don't know if it's day two or three, but it's because I had my, I came out of surgery on Wednesday night and it's now Friday morning. Um, and I'm just at home. And my eyes, like, I'm not even squinting. I can barely see. My eyes are so swollen. And it's only 9.30 in the morning. And I just feel like I just don't know what to do. And uh, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not necessarily in pain as such. I just am not loving life at the moment. And I just feel like I want to blow my nose. But I can't. I've got Remy with me, which is so nice. And I'm just chilling. And, oh, it's just the swelling, like... Yeah, my nose, it's, I've still got this on because it was still dripping a little bit. And I'm hoping I can take it off for a bit this afternoon. And I just feel, like, really phlegmy in my throat. And I just... Oh, I just feel very sorry for myself questioning everything but they did say that like today and tomorrow to be prepared for like the most intense so I'm hoping that I'll just feel better as the day goes on um got so many medications to take it's messing up with my stomach um but that's like not even really thinking about that at the moment um Sunday is Easter Sunday, so I'm hoping that I'll be feeling a bit better by then. Um, I'm hoping I'll at least be able to open my eyes. Let's look at that bruising. Um, but yeah, so they had to do, for the lower blepharoplasty, they did a fat transfer um, to like plump up the hollowness. So they actually took it from my legs. Um, so I have band-aids on my legs and my legs are actually really sore too. I noticed like just when I went to like sit down, like when I was having like dinner and stuff last night at the table, like it was sore, like trying to tuck myself in. Um, so my legs are a bit sore, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I think it's going to be a long day, but because um, I had all the stuff, I was like, oh, I'll, like in recovery I'll like watch TV, I'll read books, I'll do jigsaws and I'm like, well I can't fucking see so I've just spent the last hour or so just listening to podcasts with a cold face washer on my face but that just drives me crazy because I feel like that's too stagnant. Um, so yeah, I don't really know but oh, I just feel like I've phlegm in my throat and like I wanna just blow my nose but anyway that's today's update so yeah so today is saturday and i don't know if it's day three or four because that's what i think i was saying before i had like the surgery was when i got out of surgery at, like six o'clock on wednesday so technically day one was wednesday but in the night so anyway it's been a few days um i think yeah the swelling from my eyes has gone down a lot and has gone to this part of my face uh, because I had the lower bleph to to do that because they actually did for that um, a fat transfer to plump up under my eyes and just that area. So they actually took the fat 
from my legs. So my legs are actually pretty sore too. Um, I have intense bruising as well on my legs. Um, just another thing. I'm feeling, I feel like I sound very blocked up because I have these like silicon splints up my nose, which I can't wait to get out on Wednesday. I just, I'm feeling not as much pain. I'm starting to feel pressure today. I haven't really felt pressure the last few days. Um, I hope it doesn't get too bad, but I've got to just be prepared for it. Um, but yeah, my eyes, even though my eyes aren't as swollen as they were yesterday, I still feel like I'm having trouble like seeing. I feel like they're really just sort of weepy and just, I don't know, I'm still not feeling great. But as long as like, I'm just hoping this is like the worst, like today and yesterday and stuff are like the worst of it. And then yeah, tomorrow's Easter Sunday. So um, I'm meant to be going to my mom and dad's for lunch. So hopefully I'll be looking and feeling much better by then. And just like, Look how swollen I like look at look at that. <laughs> but oh, I just can't wait to get these splits out of my nose. I'm gonna try as well today to not have my nose taped up. I have to sort of keep dabbing it because it's still oozing a little bit. And Remy needs to shut up because that's not helping anything. Hey guys, so today is Sunday, it's Easter Sunday, and it's so weird. I feel like the swelling has literally just all gone to the bottom of my face and I was like kind of freaking out that the fat transfer like that it's not swelling that like the fat has that's meant to be my cheeks has gone down but I just got to trust that it's slow look at it. just swelling um but I really just kind of really sick like I just feel like I have no appetite and I'm still like I had breakfast as like I normally would and I just feel like I just feel so sick and nauseous afterwards um and I like, don't even recognize myself um, but I'm going to my mum and dad's place for lunch today, so I'm going to just see. Hopefully, I'll feel better once I just get out of the house for a little bit. Um, but I'll show you now. I haven't um, shown before all, like, the medications and supplements and stuff that I'm currently taking because it's a lot. So, I'm like, well, that's probably also why I'm feeling nauseous um, just from so much stuff. And I mean, I'm only little, so it's a lot for me to take in. But obviously, like, they've given me the correct dose for my size, but... Yeah, these are the supplements. I started taking them before surgery. I started taking these two weeks before surgery and then these about a week before. So vitamin C and zinc, that's just like for immunity and all that. Um, and then Arnica spray, which tastes gross, and bromelain, that's um, meant to be really good for bruising and inflammation. So yeah, I can't imagine what the swelling would be like if I wasn't taking them. So yeah, these, like pretty much everything I take, like three times a day with food so that's what I take them yeah three times a day with food and then I take just one of these I only have one left um I just take one of these in the morning I think that's like an anti-inflammatory it tastes like I can taste it when I swallow it. it's really gross but only one left of them and then I have these are my antibiotics so I take four of these a day breakfast lunch dinner and before I go to sleep so I yeah nearly finished the course of those I'm only on them for five days so I nearly finished them and then I've got these, um, which is just like really like strong, like Panadol, extra strength paracetamol. So I take two of these three times a day. So again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, take two at a time. And then that's what I've been on. And then I've got, in case of emergency, these um, pain, which I took one in the afternoon that I came home from hospital. Um, they just said just to take it to see how my body reacts and just sort of have them as like, in case of emergency um if the pain gets really bad um and then i've just been taking strep seals as needed because my throat's still really sore from having the tube down my throat but yeah so that's like everything that i'm taking and then i won't show you as well because it's pretty gross but with my nose i have been going through so many cotton buds i've got to like um, I've got saline, so I've got to like dip it in the saline, wipe and swab my nose and then do pore, pore like dry and then put pore, pore ointment around it. And then I've still just been taping it up like I think I had on the first few days, the like proper strap thing, like just at night in case it like really droops. But the oozing, I think I've got to clean it up now, sorry. Um, yeah, the oozing is starting to go down, but they said it's not for like four to five days. But I had sort of like red like blood sort of weeping in my eye this morning from like the bruising i'm just like i don't know what's going on in my head but i just don't recognize myself and i just i just feel off like it's not even like i'm in pain i just i don't know i just feel really nauseous at the moment that's like the main thing that's bothering me but 
hopefully it's only just gonna get better and hopefully we'll get better soon so it is monday today a new week a new month um and today hasn't been too bad i still um obviously yeah i have still this swollen i think it's gone down a little bit from yesterday um but yeah i still i still just feel like i don't look like myself or feel like myself um but like the bruising and swelling has come down so much it's just lots of yellowness which is like the end of bruising that goes like yellow before it disappears um but it's mainly been my eyes have been really like watery like a bit gunky today so that's been like the main thing just like my eyes keep glassing up and this is like sorry if this is really descriptive you're lucky i didn't actually take any photos but i woke up um during the night and my eyes were quite cr they sort of have been like the last few nights a little bit crusty when i wake up but I was aware I sort of like dabbed my eyes and I could feel they were really crusty. So it was like 3 a.m. I had to get up and I'm like, okay, let me like go and actually just clean it over and stuff. And I got like the fright of my life when I turned on the mirror in my bathroom because they were crusted over with like blood because I'm still like, my nose is still bleeding. So because like eyes, throat, nose, everything's connected. I had like bits of blood in like my eye gunk so i just had all this crusted blood around my eyes and it was like freaked me out a bit and then i couldn't get back to sleep and it was just like but i'm feeling better than i was yesterday which is good i finished my last of one of my like i think it's a steroid type medication and tomorrow morning i take my last antibiotic um so that's good that i'm like it's nearly been a week now Wednesday morning I get my splints taken out so hopefully I won't sound as blocked up so in like 48 hours time they're going to be out and I'm so excited I'm getting another LED treatment so hopefully the swelling and all that will go down they're going to take these bandages off so I'm very excited I painted my nails today which don't look too closely but it's just I always have nail polish on so that feels really nice to have done that I'm going to try wash my hair tonight I've just braided it today because it's really greasy and yuck so I'm going to try wash my hair tonight even if I just like wet it a bit just but obviously carefully because I can't get any of this wet another quick thing too my legs are still really sore from the fat transfer and the um when I went for after the day after my operation, the nurse was like saying, he's like, oh, I, like the legs will probably be more painful than the face. Um, it's like a weird type of sore. And I still have like the most intense bruises. And I don't actually know too I'm on my thighs. I'll show you this. I don't know if I have stitches or just like band-aids, but um, I'll just, I'm leaving the tape on. I'll find out on Wednesday. But I'll see too if I can insert videos or photos of the bruises on my legs, but they're very like inner thighs. Um, but I'll see if I can, yeah, put it to show you because the bruises are, like, intense. I've got here, that's where they, like, put the needles in to get the fat transfer. So let me just put my leg up. So they, like, put the needle in there. And I'm assuming that it was a very long needle because it goes all the way around and under. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, to get the fat out. So that's why I'm a bit sore on my legs. Um, there's all Remy's toys, but yeah, like you can sort of kind of see there. So this is going to be like the most <laughs> awkward angle video thing ever, but like, see, and like the bruising's gone down like a lot, but like, it's, yeah, my legs are still really painful, um, but yeah, obviously my face is the most glamorous <laughs> i just don't recognize myself look at my like it's just weird so today is wednesday which means it has been one week since the operation the swelling has come down from my face a lot but it's still swollen and like the yellow bruising um we're actually about to head off now going back to the surgeon's office and they're gonna give it a clean. I'm getting these internal splints taken out of my nose. I cannot wait. I think, yeah, they'll be taking all this tape and stuff off, getting LED treatment and all that. So I'm just so, so, so excited to get these splints taken out. Um, I feel like it's just gonna feel so much better, but um, yeah, I just haven't been, I don't know. I just feel just not myself. It's just a really weird feeling, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> hopefully so this is me getting the splints removed and tell me this is not the most satisfying thing ever like i cannot believe that that was in my nose for a week so yeah the first one was kind of a bit 
plugged coming out but the second one came out really clean which they said was really good um but yeah it sort of hurt coming out but good to have it out and then they just did some more led treatment for the bruising and swelling so just checking in after yesterday getting my splits taken out and my taping off so this is what we're dealing with underneath the swelling is coming down a lot still like a bit double chinny um but yeah it feels so good to have those splits out it was like the most weirdest but satisfying thing when she like pulled them out it sort of hurt a bit just because of i have my like um incision stitches at like the tip of my nose but um oh just so good to have them out but then i'm like feeling weird because i'm like oh i can like airs coming in and like i know it's still but i'm still very blocked up um i still have lots of sort of like mucusy stuff my nose is dripping and i'm like i just want to blow my nose but i can't um but yeah so i still have like quite a fair bit of bruising so now i'm pretty much just like covering my face in arnica cream because that's meant to be really good for bruising and swelling and all that but um yeah i just oh, it just feels so weird but i actually think i'm gonna end the video here and then on my because today's thursday and then on monday i get the cast off so i think i'm gonna do that as a separate video for like the reveal and like seeing my nose for the first time and i really really hope as well that by monday a lot of this bruising will have gone down so that it's like more satisfying like seeing my nose um oh, i just really want my nose to stop dripping i'm just so i got to do this like sinus flush it out and i'm just like oh but um yeah i just oh, hope i don't sell this for long because i'm just like oh but yeah so i just oh, i just want my chisel jaw back <laughs> no i just like know that my head is naturally like a very egg shape so that's how I know that I'm like, it's still swollen because I'm like, it's still, yeah, I'm just like, ugh. but anyway, on the mend. Um, but yeah, that's today's little update. So yeah, as I said, I think at this stage when I'm feeling this, I think I'm going to end it here and then I'll check back in next week when I get to see my notes for the first time. And let's hope that the swelling and bruising and stuff would have gone down a lot. And yeah.